Hey guys, that's good. Welcome back with more Final Fantasy yes. Revelation. Uh, this time we're taking on Paralog 12. Sweet dreams. Hey. Hey, Ozma, you look terrible. Like you've seen a ghost. <gasps> no, nothing that awful. Just that my daughter's village is under attack. What? What? That's far worse. We have to get there and rescue her. Let's see. Let's see. I guess it is worse, though everyone has to die sometime. What? What? We're talking about your daughter here. Let's get to saving her, man. Impatient, Impatient aren't, aren't you? you? Then let's go, if you're in such a hurry. Ozma, you're a fucking asshole. I'm sorry. That was uncalled. <laughs> My god, the village, is in, the village in this deep realm is completely overrun with our enemies. This is where Mitama lives, right? Then where is your daughter? This is not good. That's no good. I don't see her anywhere. Oh, uh, I'm wrong. There's an air of calm here. She must be fine. Hmm. Hmm? Somehow I seriously doubt that. Look at this place, you fool. Um. Um. Well, she's probably fine. I put her in a perfectly sound house. <laughs> see that place is still standing. It hasn't taken any damage. <sighs> We're going in to check on her safety, you damn fool. Uh, stay. I'm not bringing styles in. Cool. But I'm not gonna bring Obra. I'm gonna bring. Oh, I'm also gonna actually give styles a weapon. So, Ozma needs to go there. I'm gonna have to route the enemy. So, I just don't kill him. If I remember correctly, this chapter of the map is kind of annoying. Here out.
Join us outside or let us all in either way. <sighs> Who? What now? I'm off, I'm off of you. I'm enjoying the lovely snows. Oh, oh my, did she fall back to sleep? <laughs> again. Mitama. Mitama, please open up. My knuckles are getting sore from knocking. <sighs> Who's there? Didn't I say to go away? I don't want any. Haven't you a higher calling than to trouble, trouble my door? Mayhaps you should place yourself in a prostrate. Street position and perish. How oh, strange. strange. Explain yourself, Mitama. <sighs> How can I make it any clearer? Lay down and die. <laughs> ah, that most certainly is you, daughter. I'd know that sharp tongue anywhere. It's your father, Mitama. Open up, pretty please. I'm getting rude stares. People don't understand why you won't let me in. Me, I could stand here all day and banter with you. Great fun. Still, I'd rather not knock a third time, Mitama. <laughs> make me wait another turn. Oh, is that you, Father? What brings you here? Did you bring all these hooligans who've been making so much noise? <sighs> Blissfully unaware as always. Nice to see you too, daughter. Yes. Yes, well, I've been asleep or trying to, but all this noise out here. Oh, my. Oh, my. What a dreamer. You might have slept through your house being raised. Good thing I had the common sense to get here as fast as I could. I understand. I understand you're saving me. What? That's worth waking up for. Or at least it's haiku worthy. My father has come, and my feather bed is born, so I choose to sneeze. Good night, father. <sighs> Good night, my left foot. Ha Good night, my left foot. Have you taken a look around? It's not night, and it's not good, not with your village being under attack. Outside, now, I have to battle you. If I have to battle you, I have to what? battle you. What? Why? <laughs> Dear daughter, do I really need to explain? You're brighter than most. It's time that your laziness is forged into the will to fight. Besides, I need you to heal me up if I scuff my knee. You woke me for you this? You woke me for this? I guess this too is high cool. My, breast, my best friends are scholars. But who has come to my door? The master of chores. Uh, guess I'll help. Now, where did I put that rod? Oh, yes, there. Hmm. hmm. Oh dear, I've never seen a filthier apparatus. What have you been stirring with this? Daughter? You'll have to do. Ready to help? Okay. okay, I guess. Just a moment. Beseeches me he... Beseeches he me? I am the maiden of seas. At the la, at the least, say please. You're so annoying. Mega Yacho in this chapter. Good lord. Oh, is someone injured? Whoa. Whoa, just look at that. What initiative. Tending to the wounded without even being nagged? Remarkable. <sighs> Whew, healing people is exhausting. Well done, well done Mitama. Yes. yes, it was, wasn't it? Now, good night. Oh? Oh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Very funny, Father. Inside to bed, of course. Since all of the, those obnoxious visitors are gone, I can get back to sleep. <laughs> It is funny how you think you're just going to hit the hay after being so useful. No, dear daughter. You're going to accompany us. What? what? Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go. No complaining. As they say, those who those that idle away their lives are looking for trouble. Trouble rarely trouble travels really alone. Trouble rarely travels alone. And see, Father, anyone can spot that stuff and sound smart. I'm not buying it. I'll surely get into far more misadventure with you. Oh well. What is what use is trying? Fathers are always prying, daughters complying. Far better to sleep, far off in the starry night, far from Azama. Good night to freedom, good night to aspirations, good night to my dreams. 
Huh? What do you know? Theory haiku. All at once? Traveling with father might actually be inspiring. Sure it is. Sure it is. And since I didn't actually show off her thing in the fight, I might as well do it here. Offspring. Seal. Let's make her a priest. A priestess. But that'll be it for this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. If you enjoyed, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you would like to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.